Hey, what's up guys? So we have some last second updates for you guys before we might actually get an update. So joining with me is Mir. How's it going, man? Doing fine, thank you. It's been, a, it's been a while. Yeah, you're, you're, the, the background looks different for you. Did you, did you, I don't know. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, okay. of course. I moved, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is different. Cool, cool. So guys, we have three, basically three main things we're going to talk about. First, we're going to talk about some data mining. And then we're going to talk about uh, some tweets from Ono, some hints. And then we're gonna talk about the arcade arcade version of the game type arcade. So let's start with the the data mining part for Street Fighter V. Um, as you guys know, that we got a, a small update recently with a whole bunch of costumes, ton of costumes, and that was pretty much it. Maybe some bug fixes for some characters, but pretty mm -hmm. much it. But with that update, of course, there's gonna be some data mining. Multiple data miners, not just one, have found some clues on. Capcom preparing to roll out a very large patch uh, for the yeah. game because that's how Capcom they were you know they put a little bit in it just to make sure the next patch is not as huge and makes it easier for download and whatnot. So the first mm -hmm. big thing is they found uh, a placeholder for the next new character coming to the game. So right off the hop, right there, I mean data mining is not always the most reliable thing to figure out uh, when updates are coming or what exactly is happening. But when it comes to new characters coming, or when it comes to things like which costumes are coming, it's quite reliable uh, in that sense. So, yeah, it looks like... Well, first this shows us that it's not just Kage. It's going to be the only character this season, which has a lot of people worried because we, we didn't have a, a season pass this year. That's confirmed by Capcom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't have any plans for a season pass, which I mean, doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that they're not gonna offer one in the future, but as of now, yeah, it just means that there's Kaga and that's it. Mm -hmm. So we got the placeholder scene. We don't really have hints on which character it is, except for the Ono tweet, which we'll talk about in a bit here. But mm -hmm. uh, there was a bunch of other little things shown. I mean, uh, I, we're still trying to figure out what Capcom's gonna do with the fight money system. Because it, even the rewards of the fight money in the CPT pass, it was just like 10,000 extra fight money. It was like nothing. And they've yeah. taken away so many things. So we, we really think that Capcom is planning on, on changing the fight money system on how you earn it. I think that's what they're doing. But we didn't find anything from that on the, on the, on the data mining. Um, there's some, you know, some costume stuff they've seen and whatnot. But the most significant thing from this data mining, besides, of course, the new character slot, is... There is more hints towards the second V skill system. We blatantly see uh, V skill selection one and two uh, for yes. your characters, and that's a huge hint. We've been hearing about this constantly all throughout last year, even before Arcade Edition came out, and now we're mm -hmm. hearing about it again here in this most recent patch. So what do yeah, you think? there's there's been hints about. Um so-called v mode where you could customize your v system yeah and like we we heard uh of this mode since i don't know it's been almost a couple of years i would say at least a year a full mm -hmm. year and we we haven't seen it yet and now with you know the release of type arcade for um you know japanese arcades yeah it would it, it, it would make sense for them to to roll out an update like this right and it, it probably isn't just you know, this V mode. It could be actual normal gameplay, right? It could be I just think, another V skill for everyone. I think it's definitely part of the core gameplay, the second V skill selection. It's only natural yeah. that they add the second, the second two V skills would be more significant than two uh, extra super per character, I think. Yeah. Because the V system is the main part of Street Fighter V, right? So they should mm -hmm. definitely, they should definitely look at the V skills for a lot of these characters. But um, another thing on the data mining mirror, is they, they saw like some kind of selection where uh, it chooses for you. Like it's kind of, it's either it's like what's most popular or something depending on the matchup or what most people pick. Just like it's a fast mm -hmm. selection for people new to the game. And this this seems like this is something for the arcade version, you know? It doesn't sound yeah. like it's something for V mode. That wouldn't really make sense. That it's like some kind mm -hmm. of party mode. Seems like more yeah, core would, towards the game. It would make sense that they're trying to make this arcade port as modern as possible, right? With integration with... Uh, you know, online rankings yeah. and um, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, like a, something, the, the game picking for you based on um, community popularity, you know, like what's the most common B skill and I don't know, maybe in a specific matchup. It, yeah. would, it would definitely be 
Yeah, something like a little, a, a more, a more modern approach to the whole arcade, you know, port of a of a game like this. Yeah, yeah. So I can see that for sure. Well, what, what kind of what kind of new V skills will we need though? I mean, I, we've already well, joked around a bit about it, but like Ryu, like his V skill is already quite good. Like the the parry, mm -hmm. I really like that as a, as a, one of the first V skills that we've seen in the game. But what else would he get? Like a fake fireball? Well, it's interesting a because a lot of characters, a lot of characters are very dependent on their V skill, and yeah. others barely use it. Yeah. So they're so fundamental to so many characters' game plan that just changing it completely, um, it seems like, you know, such a drastic change, right? Like, it, it would just change the way you play the character so much. And that's what makes them so interesting, right? That's why we're so excited to see them. What would well, you first like of all, being changed. Uh, Don't say green hand for Zangief, Mir. I know you're thinking about it. Don't even... No, it actually, it didn't even cross my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. Like, I, I, I don't know if they would... If the the correct thing to do here would be to bring back old moves, yeah, or to just completely innovate and make something new for mm -hmm. every character, because yeah. I can think of a characters that could use a, a hand in that sense, you know, like I can think of Chun Li for example. A new Visco would be nice. I mean, they're trying they're trying to make it so that it's uh, it makes sense to use Visco, but for certain characters, it just doesn't work out that well. Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly. So, like not like. Uh... Nakali not having his V skill would be like huge, right? Mm -hmm. Or uh, even Guile, for example. Yeah. Like, what about Monat? You know, a lot of these things revolve around it, like you said. So it's strange, but at the same time, you know, we've had this exact conversation when we talked about adding the second V trigger to the game. Characters like you, like how we're like, how is Yurian or Nakali gonna even want to have a different V trigger? You know, so yeah. we have run into this scenario before. So I'm sure Capcom could figure it out. And hopefully mm -hmm. this impactful to the balance of the game. That's what we really, really, really want. We want this game to feel fresh. And I know this update, there's a lot of people anticipating, uh, especially the netcode and other things as well. And we've yeah. waited, it feels like we've waited forever uh, for this big update in general. So <laughs> Because we have. Because we have. <laughs> so like, you know, we basically, uh, the longer we wait, the higher expectations are. Especially since yeah, the season sure. has already begun and people already feel like it's been lackluster. Uh, mm -hmm. right. Okay, uh, let's move on to this Ono tweet now, okay? So, mm -hmm. this might not even be a big deal, but it's gained some traction here, but I thought you guys should know if you didn't hear about it. So, Ono just randomly tweeted out uh, this portrait of a uh, uh, character select screen, as you will, like some Street Fighter 2-ish character select screen. And uh, yeah. with the Blanca toy on it, and usually when Ono tweets something like this, especially with the Blanca toy on it, it's some kind of hint on what we're about, some kind of announcement or something, right? In this sense, of course, everyone's thinking about the next character. If you look at the image, uh, you can see the Blanca toy is resting right like on E Honda, right? Very, very, you know, being blatant that maybe E Honda is the next character going to be announced. And uh, mm -hmm. I think this was posted on Event House, right? Yes. And uh, they were saying, like, hey, is Honda going to be the next character? And then Ono actually replied to this on Twitter, and he says uh, something along the lines of, you're reading too much into it. Mm -hmm. So he, he could be saying, you know, I, I, I just like to post pictures with my toy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would honestly believe it at this point. Oh, man. I, 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 I remember, like, Ono getting into, tr getting into trouble from Capcom from giving too many hints in general. So I, I really don't feel like Ono is even allowed to do stuff like this anymore. Seriously, uh, when is the last about, time Ono was given a good hint? It's been what about the character that's hidden by the mouse? Yeah, so that's that's another thing about uh, the, the the image that we were talking about during the stream was uh, the fact that there's like a mouse or something on the right side, and uh, yes. you know we we're looking at like which character is that covering, and then it's right beside a uh, Cami, I think, right? So we're like, mm -hmm. it's got to be like uh, you know T Hawk or. Or Fei Long, right? But if you mm -hmm. find the actual original image, randomly underneath that mouse is Sean. It's no, man, it's obviously a young DJ. Come on. But Ono said you're reading <laughs> too much into it. Wouldn't that be if we thought Sean was the next character? Wouldn't you say that? Because how are we reading too much into it? If, it's, if the toy is literally on the Honda, it makes no sense. Must be a mistranslation. Well, does, that, does that mean that it's neither? Than someone else? I, I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, 
I don't. I, I seriously think Ono's not allowed to hint characters. I really or maybe. Do. Or maybe it doesn't mean anything. Maybe it doesn't. Mean, like I said the guy just draws like, pictures of the toy. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, the uh, if it can, like I don't know. It can't be Sean, man. Sean's not popular enough, and it's another Shoto. You're telling me. You're telling me Capcom's gonna release Kage and Sean like two Shotos in a row. It ain't happening, bro. It ain't happening. It's a higher chance that it's DJ at this point. I'm serious. It's E Honda. I'd be Boxing. happy. I'd be happy to see DJ. I will say. I'm probably I'm like one of the game. four people that <laughs> that can say that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let me know if you guys think if, if we're reading too much into it. Let us know what you guys think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the final piece of news here, uh, Mir, is that um, the Type Arcade, the arcade Japanese arcade version of Street Fighter V, is finally rolling out, and it's yes. rolling out suspiciously. On March 14th, the day before that final round. Now, one day before final round. Yes. Now, if you guys haven't heard this theory, once again, this is the best theory we have so far on why it's taking so long to get the damn update. It's because they're waiting on the arcade version of the game, which is going to include the patch already, and they just want to roll everything out at once. That is the best theory that we've had so far, and it looks like that's the case because the arcade version yeah. is rolling out a day before final round. We're assuming final round is going to be when the big update comes out. Even before that, they might even. Uh, it might be March 13th or 12th at this point, honestly, before all these mm -hmm. things happen. And it's going to be... This is the big event, guys. This is the first CPT major. Uh, yeah. It's all going to make sense if everything rolls out now. And this will be after DMC5 comes out. So, What do you think, Mir? Yeah? Well, I mean, we've been waiting for this big announcement <laughs> in teaching since... Uh, yeah. Well, since Kage was revealed, so... Yeah. Um, at it, first boys? we were like, it's EO Japan, yeah. but EO Japan is now CPT uh, and nothing happened in fact. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, when is it going to be, you know? And I mean, the only the only possible thing is final round. Unless nothing happens at final round, in which case oh, I'm, dude, I'm ready if, to get the gun and shoot myself. If nothing out. happens at final round, that's it. That's it, man. <laughs> Everyone's going to play Undernight. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, so like, it, it, it would make sense for them to announce it at final round, especially, yeah. like you said, it's the first CPT event, like official CPT event of the year, and marks the start of the uh, Capcom Pro Tour 2019. Yeah. Um, yeah, Type Arcade is releasing the day before. It's perfect. I mean, what, what, what else do we need? It's right? beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's going to it's gonna happen here. Next week, they're going to announce, like, three characters. Net code is going to be fixed. Fight money. Millions of fight money options. Uh, <laughs> a new story mode. Uh, Street Fighter Six on the horizon. I mean, it's going to be glorious. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. It's okay, guys. The next three characters are all going to be DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like all three are DJ, uh, oh, but yeah, no, like I, I would, I would honestly, yeah, love to see either returning characters, even new characters at this point. Honestly, like I would yeah, yeah, I would just love to see something new. Yeah, something so, for just us to keep the game fresh, right? Like updates, yeah, uh, patches, new story mode. What, what you got? Just hand it over, <laughs> hand it over, Capcom. I, <laughs> it. <laughs> I think Street Fighter Five still has some life left in it. Still before yes. next gen starts, but yeah. I guess that's another topic. But uh, guys, let us know what you think about these last second updates. What are you guys anticipating to happen next week? And uh, yeah, man, we're going to be so disappointed. Next week after Final Round, there's no update. Yikes. All right, guys. Keep in touch. Uh, please uh, like the video. It really helps. Subscribe to the channel, of course. And we'll keep you guys in the loop. So till next time, guys. Take care.